Welcome to Digital Training Hub. Here, we are dedicated to exploring the vital principles of data protection. In today's interconnected world, safeguarding sensitive information is paramount. Today we delve into the core principles that underpin data protection strategies, empowering you with the knowledge to navigate the complexities of privacy and security in the digital age. From understanding consent and transparency to implementing robust security measures, we're here to unravel the intricacies and equip you with actionable insights. Hit subscribe and embark on a journey to fortify your data defenses with us. Data protection is a critical aspect of modern information management, ensuring that personal data is handled in a way that respects individual privacy and is secure from unauthorized access. The principles of data protection are often guided by legal frameworks such as the General Data Protection Regulation, GDPR, in the European Union and similar regulations in other jurisdictions. Here are the key principles of data protection explained. 1. Lawfulness, Fairness, and Transparency. Lawfulness. Data processing must have a legitimate basis, such as the consent of the data subject, performance of a contract, compliance with a legal obligation, protection of vital interests, performance of a task in the public interest, or legitimate interests pursued by the data controller. Lawful basis for processing explained. Under GDPR, data processing must be justified by one of the six lawful bases. A. Consent. Explicit permission from the data subject. B. Contract. Processing is necessary for a contract with the data subject. C. Legal obligation. Compliance with a legal obligation. D. Vital interests. Protecting someone's life. E. Public task. Necessary for performing a task in the public interest or official authority. F. Legitimate interests. Legitimate interests of the data controller or a third party, provided these are not overridden by the data subject's rights and interests. Example of lawfulness. A healthcare app collects patient data. The app obtains explicit consent from users before collecting their health data. Fairness. Data must be processed in a manner that is fair to the individuals whose data is being collected. This means avoiding deception or misleading practices. Example of fairness. The app clearly explains in simple terms how the data will be used, ensuring users are not misled. Transparency. Individuals should be informed about how their data is being used who is collecting it, and for what purpose. This is typically achieved through privacy notices and policies. Example of transparency. The app provides a privacy policy that details what data is collected, how it will be used, who will have access to it, and how long it will be retained. 2. Purpose limitation. Data should only be collected for specific, explicit, and legitimate purposes and not further processed in a manner that is incompatible with those purposes. This ensures that data is not used in ways that individuals would not expect. Example. An e-commerce website collects customer data during purchases. The website collects customer addresses for shipping purposes. Suppose the company wants to use the same data for marketing new products. They must ensure this new use is compatible with the original purpose or obtain additional consent from the customers. 3. Data minimization. Only the data that is necessary for the specified purposes should be collected and processed. This principle encourages organizations to limit the amount of data they collect to what is directly relevant and necessary. Example. A mobile app requires user registration. Instead of asking for extensive personal information, the app only requests the essential details needed to create an account, such as name, email address, and password rather than unnecessary information like home address or date of birth unless it is crucial for the service provided. 4. Accuracy. Data must be accurate and, where necessary, kept up to date. Inaccurate data should be corrected or deleted promptly. This ensures that decisions made based on data are reliable and fair to the individuals concerned. Example. A bank maintains customer records. The bank has processes in place for customers to update their personal information such as phone numbers and addresses. Regular prompts are sent to customers to review and update their data to ensure it remains accurate. 5. Storage limitation. Personal data should be kept in a form that permits the identification of data subjects for no longer than is necessary for the purposes for which the data is processed. This means implementing retention policies and securely deleting data that is no longer needed. Example. 
a job recruitment agency stores applicant data. The agency only keeps the personal data of unsuccessful applicants for a limited period, such as six months, after which the data is securely deleted unless the applicant consents to a longer retention period for future job opportunities. 6. Integrity and confidentiality. Data must be processed in a way that ensures appropriate security, including protection against unauthorized or unlawful processing and against accidental loss, destruction, or damage. This involves implementing technical and organizational measures such as encryption, access controls, and regular security assessments. Example. An online payment service processes transactions. The service uses encryption to protect transaction data during transmission and implements strict access controls to ensure that only authorized personnel can access sensitive information. Regular security audits are conducted to identify and mitigate potential vulnerabilities. 7. Accountability. Organizations must be able to demonstrate compliance with these principles. This includes maintaining records of data processing activities, conducting data protection impact assessments, and appointing data protection officers where required. Example. A social media platform manages user data. The platform has a dedicated data protection officer who oversees compliance with data protection regulations. The company maintains detailed records of data processing activities and conducts regular training for employees on data protection best practices. By applying these principles with practical examples, organizations can better understand how to implement data protection measures effectively, ensuring compliance with legal requirements and safeguarding individuals' privacy. Note, in the event there is a breach, the company should promptly identify the breach and assess its impact. Within 72 hours, they notify the relevant data protection authority and inform affected users about the breach, the potential risks, and the steps being taken to mitigate those risks. As we come to the end of our Principles of Data Protection course on this channel, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.